Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to share with you our new Prevail Barista Touch. Hopefully today the information that you can get in this video will help you make up your mind to buy or not to buy this thing. Retail price for this thing is $999 so it's really quite pricey and I have to think about it to buy or not to buy. So what I did was I went to William Sonoma online and if you open a card or a credit card you get 20% off. So that is like 200 off your purchase. First purchase only. So make sure that your first purchase will be this one. <laughs> so you will not lose that 20% off. And I think it's worth it. Come on guys, I'll show you to my mini cafe. So this is where it sits. I can move it here, but since the bin hopper is here and the mug I put it on top, can't be, it's a tight space. But anyways, um, it's a very good size. It doesn't take up a lot of space space in your kitchen counter uh, so what I have here we're gonna turn I'll turn it on for you okay so you will hear that sound okay so what is that six seconds so hopefully that does not bother you it doesn't bother me and um, it's a touch screen so we have to select our drinks here we have the espresso the Americano and the latte. Now latte is our drink. We are very lightweight with caffeine. So this one works for us. And that's also one of the reason that I bought this uh, Breville Barista Touch because you know I can really make good lattes with this one with a lot of practice, of course. <laughs> Flat white, cappuccino, hot milk, you can do that. And add new, so you can customize a drink here. You can put your boyfriend's name, husband's name, and just, you know, click it in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever you want the drink. And voila, it's ready. You can delete it if your boyfriend is an ex-boyfriend now, you can totally delete the one <laughs> all right now the next thing that I'm going to show you is the bean hopper now this is where you put the beans look at that I got the dark roast one for my first time the only mistake and the first mistake I did was and please don't do this mistake I bought a really big coffee bean bag now since I am just starting I still don't know if that bean will work for me, but why did I buy a big bag, right? Okay, so now I have to wait for this beans, for this kind of beans to finish until I can buy the new or try a new kind of beans, which I think this is a dark roast. And I think the next one I'm gonna try is the medium roast. I think it will just work perfectly, hopefully. This one is not bad, we like it, but we can try another one and I think this bean is also too oily all right so the next one that I'm going to show you is of course the tamper tamper is very straightforward magnetic put it there voila you want to see that again all right pull it down straightforward tamper back to that Voila. It's right, next thing I'm going to show you is the Porta filter. You know, I just kind of uh, learned about all these terms. <laughs> so this is the Porta filter. Pretty nice and tight over there. So you just put it there, twist it, lock. Very, very good. Secure. Now, this is the Porta filter itself. The basket is here. Now, when you open your package, don't look for the double shot basket because it's already a touch here. The one that you're gonna see in this one, the baskets are the, I'll show this to you. So you're gonna have this uh, double wall, what is this? The dual wall, and then what's the other one? Let me see, another dual wall. I don't know what does it mean, but it's there. And oh, there's a single shot actually. Single wall filters. And that one, you know where it is. 
I'll show it to you. This is a trick. You can see this in another video, but in my video, you can see all in one. So in order for us to see that one shot basket, it's under here. This is pretty good, actually. You slide it in here and you can, I'll show that separately later. So we found the single shot basket. It was under this um, slide here, but I'm going to show that to you later. So, you know, what's the use of this? Well, it's a single shot. Who does single shot coffee these days? No, it's the 21st century, right? We need double shots, please. All right. So what I do with this is I found a trick because this is pretty tight here. This is double basket. That's what I've said. This is pretty tight here. And some of you will use like a butter knife. But please don't sacrifice your butter knife. So take that off. And what I do is I use my single shot basket. Just like that. Just like that. And like that. And voila. You take out your double shot basket. And if you want to change, and if you want to change, change it now. Alright? So that's just a trick that I want to share with you. Alright. Pour the filter back there nice and secure now i'm going to introduce you to the milk frother this is pretty cool actually because um this is the uh, what is this the auto milk sensor okay so this will sense the temperature of your milk now if you can you can check you know videos what is the right temperature for frothing a milk that really helps a lot now this one Nice, this one. Do not touch this. No, hold it like this to avoid burning. And once it's fraught, clean it, back it, it purge on its own. Hallelujah. Isn't that nice? All right, the next thing it comes with a razor. Razor, why do we need a razor? Okay, I'll show it to you. When you grind your coffee, I'll show it to you later actually. Okay, so that's the razor and then we have the milk jug so i put everything in here the, your milk jump it has the minimum it has the maximum so usually i just use minimum for this one it depends on how creamy or you know want your um milk your latte to be okay now there is one oh this one is just mine you know i measure my syrup on the thing and oh the most important part is the water tank all right the water tank is to the back so it has this handle here did you get that so okay, let's close it up so the water tank as you can see that there's a measurement over here da, 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 maximum and then it has a handle here and it's if it's empty you just take it out Cold water, please. Cold water. It recommends cold water and snap it in back in there. It's pretty good, pretty easy and secure. Okay, you, you know, um, you would say that you have enough water there. It's a big tank, but I find it that in the morning I would make coffee for my dad, my husband, and myself. And sometimes if my kids will ask for a hot chocolate, this is pretty, it drains really fast. It empties really fast, but it's okay. I'm next to the faucet anyways, <laughs> big deal. <laughs> All right, and to be fair to the water tank, we have like six, 16 ounces of coffee mug. So that's pretty big. That's a lot of liquid that you need to be to fill this mug. All right, now I am going to show also, it has the cleaning kit. There's a recommended time to clean it, but for me, just clean it. You know, the basic cleaning, the frother you have to wipe this with a cloth every drink. So there's like a one week cleaning, there's a one month cleaning, and don't overthink it, it's not that bad. All right, so of course, this is the filter baskets, and the nice, the one more cool thing about this is this one slides. There you go. And then you have a tool storage box there. That's where I put my magic one shot basket. 
that's my tool. <laughs> and then this one, you take it off, clean it after using, and another one over here, and this is it. Now, this is the cool thing. One more cool thing. There's a lot of cool thing in this <laughs> thing. This one, if this, um, how am I gonna call this one? Container is full of water. This will pop up and it will say, empty me, please. There you go. So how cool is that? Just to remind you. All right, so put it back there and that. Oh, should be good. And back there. All right, pretty safe. I'll give you one more tip, okay? So what I do, stay there. What I do so cleaning will be easy is when I do, when I grind my coffee, I use the paper towel. I just put it in there. Because if I have excess, like, grind or coffee it's you know it's not gonna go straight inside so you know if I don't have excess water of course I'm not gonna clean it I'll just have to wipe it easy right and then I'll just take this napkin or paper towel all right that's about it and I guess it's time for us to make the trip all right let's make latte
actually. I thought I under brew it. It's pretty good. There's no bitterness. There's no acidity. I'm kind of impressed for, you know, I'm kind of impressed with myself. <laughs> now it's time to get a donut. All right, time to enjoy our latte since we work hard for this one. Although it's already dark, but why not, right? Okay, so I hope this video helps you or will help you decide to buy or not to buy this Breville Barista Touch. For us, it's a good buy. Since, you know, I make like three lattes in the morning for my dad, my husband, and me. I like iced latte and then maybe one latte in the afternoon. So that saves us a lot of money. And I hope that this really helps you. If you have any questions, comments, please write below. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will share more videos with you. Bye!